I'm Cara and welcome to this lying down yoga class where we're going to be focusing on hip openers. So when you're ready, you're going to lie down on the mat or in your bed or wherever you feel comfortable for this class. And we're going to start with knees bent, feet flat on the ground and hands come to your belly. And just spend a few breaths breathing in and out through your nose. Maybe just slowing the exhale, just very slightly, but keeping a nice easy breath. And then we'll hug the left knee into the chest, just drawing the knee in whilst also pressing the lower back down to the ground. So you don't want to just lift your tailbone, you want to keep pressing down as you draw the knee in. So you've got that resistance against one another. And then slowly the knee can come to the side and back in. And then the next time it comes to the side, we're moving to half happy baby. So the heel goes up towards the sky. You can either keep hold of the knee or the upper leg, or you can work the hand down to the shin, maybe the ankle. You want to bring your arm to the inside so we can keep that knee nice and wide, hip at an open angle. Some of you might even be able to hold the outside of the foot. And then you might notice the right hip starts to lift, so keep that right side pressing down. Good, heel keeps pressing up to the sky. And you can even press the leg up a little bit as you resist and draw it down so that you're active in the opening stretch. And then bringing the foot across the upper leg, press the knee away. Sorry, that's my dog in the way. <laughs> and making a figure of four with the legs. So knee out to the side, heel comes across. And keep pressing the knee away. Maybe that's enough. Or maybe drawing the right hamstring in. Maybe drawing the right knee in. Yeah, my dog Nelson might join us. He's having a little stretch out himself. Good, and keep drawing that shin in towards you. And then pressing the right foot back down, allowing the body to roll over to the right until the foot finds the ground and you can press that top knee away. So at the moment we don't want the top knee over, we can keep that top knee pressing away from you so that we're opening up the hip angle. Good. Keep the shoulders and upper body relaxed. And then close the top knee down and come back to center. Left foot comes down to the ground, right knee hugging in. Again, start with just the knee hugging in, lower back pressing down. Nelson, Nelson, come, lie down. And the knee comes to the side, heel to the sky. And again, maybe you hold the upper leg or the knee, maybe you hold the ankle or the outside of the foot. And coming to your half happy baby on this side. Good, again, you're pressing the leg up against the hand. So you're resisting using that pressure of the leg. And then the foot crosses over the upper leg, press the knee away. Pausing there for a breath or two. And then hugging in either the left hamstring or the left shin. 
as you hold that figure of four position. And you want to still be pressing away with this front leg. So you've got that resistance. Lower the left foot down, roll the body over to the left. Keep the knee up high and then maybe press the knee away. But feel the shoulders and the arms relax down to the ground. Good, focus on your breath as you hold there. And then slowly unraveling back to center. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees apart. You can bring your hands to hold the legs or you can take your time to put pillows beneath the upper legs, but you want a little bit of support on those upper legs. Just allow the shoulders to relax, the knees to be wide. And as you breathe, imagine your breath going all the way down to your hips. And just feel free to stay there for as long as you like, allowing the hips to rest open. Good. Have a lovely day.